Hi guys! So I realised that I haven't made an update on my hysterectomy HRT vlog for a very long time. I just decided to watch it this morning for some strange reason and it's been three, is it three years? Three or four years since I had it done and I'm like gobsmacked of how many years it's been since I had my hysterectomy. And yeah, I just realised that I hadn't really done an update. I'm still on HRT, so I just wanted to sort of come and let you know how I've been for this past three or four years and sort of add it to the playlist of my hysterectomy vlog. One thing I am really proud of is I'm still not smoking. I am still on the e-cig. When we go on holiday, which isn't very often, I do um, have a week of smoking then is my treat because that's what I like to do. As soon as I come back, as soon as that plane takes off from wherever, usually Turkey, I know I don't have another fag. It's just crazy. I can smoke my backside off for that week. I come back and I don't smoke again till the next time. I absolutely love it. But these e-cigs are an absolute godsend. I cannot tell you how much I love these e-cigs because this is the only thing that's keeping me from smoking and I'm on a really low dose there's hardly any nicotine in this so yeah it is just the brain as long I'll, I'll show you in a minute but as long as your brain and, and your eyes see that a vapor come out your mouth and it thinks it's smoke it's happy my brain is happy and it's been like that for three years That was a lot. <laughs> but you see what I mean? Your brain thinks that I'm smoking and it's just been an absolute godsend. I love it. Stress and anxiety, they are not half as bad as I was about three years ago. Don't get me wrong, I still get, get it. Um, I think I've always really lived with something like that, so that's not going to go away. And I just have to go in a dark room, sit down and just take a few breaths. Um, yeah, apart from that, I'm not too bad. The CBA, which is obviously called can't be our syndrome, <laughs> I do still get that a lot, to be fair. Okay, with my nails and stuff, if I'm on a roll, then I'll keep doing it. But if I have a break for a week, it's hard work getting back into it. One other thing, obviously this channel used to be a lot with um, crafting. As you can see be behind all this and all up there is all papers, all books, all everything. And I really want to get rid of it. So if anybody's in, in the UK, please in the UK, if anybody's interested in getting an absolute crap load of papers and books, let me know. You really don't have to pay for it. Just pay for the postage. I'll pack everything up and you can have it. There are tons of papers for crafting. It's ridiculous. So please just leave me a comment below and we will I will get in touch with you and we'll see if we can make this work because other than that, all this is just gonna go the tip. It must be, oh my God, 12 months worth of stuff down here. It's, it's crazy, it is crazy. So I have thyroid problems as well. Obviously I've got an underactive thyroid because you know, Mother Earth couldn't have done it the other way and give me an overactive thyroid because then I'd be as, as thin as a rake and you know, happy with my weight, but you know, you dealt the hand that God gave you and all that lot. But I don't think the HRT pills are helping me in any way in losing weight. I know, as I say, I've got an underactive thyroid anyway, but trying to lose weight is a virtual impossibility. I'm on loads of drugs for different things. I've got quite a few medical problems. I can't really exercise that much, like at all. So it's just really hard. I get to a certain weight, been on a diet and then I just stop. I can't go any further because I can't do the exercise to get rid of everything else. So losing weight is a real battle for me. I've always had non-dractive thyroid for many, many years, but since being on HRT pills, whether that's in my head, I don't know, or whether this is an excuse I'm making. <laughs> but I do think since mystrectomy, it's been a lot harder to lose weight, which is a bit of a bummer, but what, what, what's a girl to do? And then the only other plus thing really is no more periods. Guys, when I tell you, other like people who I know, say about the periods and how they can't cope and, and, and I'm, I'm there thinking, just like thank the Lord that I don't have periods anymore because as I was listening to the last one of my vlog series, it, it said like there I got polyps and I got this and my endometriosis was so bad that I did the right thing. 
So if I hadn't have had that hysterectomy in it, if I was still having periods now, I do not know what state I'd be in. I mean, before I had the hysterectomy, I was on a period for three, three weeks, you know, and that was happening more than once. So it does make you wonder like three or four years down the line how bad I would actually be. All I would say now, it's like three or four years later, Go if if you're wondering about a hysterectomy, I will leave the the, the playlist of the my vlogs that I did. I need to transfer. See, I put the actual hysterectomy vlog on my other channel. I need to go and try and find that to put on this channel so it all ties in. I would absolutely recommend getting a hysterectomy because it has changed my life. I do not know what my life would have been like now if I hadn't had this hysterectomy. I can't even think. I'd just be in bed all the time, not being able to get out because of the bleeding. It was so bad. All the things that I moaned about that back then to do with like the CBA, the pain, the stitches, the doctors didn't treat me very well at the hospital. All that goes when you don't have periods because you just thank the Lord you just don't have them anymore and you don't have all that pain. So if you're thinking about getting a hysterectomy, I would 100% recommend that you go for one. I can't tell you. So yeah, this is just, this, there's really not that much to tell because everything to do with that is fine. It's perfect, it's brilliant. Apart from being on the HRT pills, which can still give you mood swings and you know trouble with weight loss and stuff like that, it is 100% worth it guys. I cannot emphasize enough how lovely it is not to be worried about when the next period's coming. So as I said, I will leave the playlist below and I will try my best to get that vlog, even if I have to record it off my channel and put it on this one, just so it all ties in of what I went through and everything else, just so that if anybody is wondering whether to get an hysterectomy, then you, you, you've got it from like then up until now and it sort of gives you an idea of what you're going to go through what you're going to feel not everybody's the same obviously but i just give you my experience so yeah as i said it was just like a, a quick update of the last three or four years since i've had it and it has just been amazing just amazing all right guys thank you so much for watching this and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys So as I say, I'll leave the playlist below if I can get the, the, um, so as I say, well, so as I said, I will leave the playlist below if you, me.